Hi, my name is Robin Wong and in this video I want to talk about five truly unique features found in Olympus OMD cameras. Let's do this! know that Olympus is being sold to JIP and the new company OM Digital Solutions is taking over very soon. I think it is the perfect time to take a deep look into the Olympus OMD system. Olympus did pack in some serious features, some I personally believe will make a big difference in real life shooting scenario. These features also prove that Olympus is an innovative company, they know what they're doing and they truly care about photographers. Feature number one, handheld high-res shot. This particular feature was first introduced in the EM1X and subsequently made available in the newer EM1 Mark III. By default, these cameras can only capture 20 megapixels. However, when this handheld high-res shot mode is enabled, these cameras will capture 16 images in quick succession and the cameras will merge in real time all the images into a high-resolution composite of 50 megapixels. All this happening while you handhold the camera and just a single click of a shutter button. Not only you get higher resolution, you also get better dynamic range and two stops better high ISO performance. If you truly understand the mechanics behind how this handheld high shot works, you will be mind blown. Olympus claims three important factors. Factor number one, the use of a more powerful dust reduction system on the image sensor. Olympus claimed that their supersonic wave filter is currently the most powerful in the industry. Factor number two, a new and improved 5-axis image stabilization. And factor number three, a more powerful processor in the EM1X. We have dual Trupi 8 processors and each Trupi 8 has dual quad-core processor. And of course, in EM1 Mark III, we have the latest and greatest Trupi 9 processor. All this made the handheld high-res shot possible. I don't see any other camera companies doing this and I believe this is truly a unique feature for Olympus. Feature number two, Pro Capture Mode. In Olympus high-level cameras, the EM1 Mark II, EM1 Mark III and EM1 X, these cameras are capable of capturing 60 frames per second in full raw images. I don't see any other cameras in the market being able to do similar speed. Now, of course, Olympus takes this one step further by allowing you to capture images even before you press the shutter button. In a situation where you need to react as, as you see the action happen, you press the shutter button, we're all humans after all, there may be a short delay, we may miss the moment. It happens even to the best of us. Now Olympus allows you to capture images even before you press that shutter button. So how does this happen? As you have pressed the shutter button in pro capture mode, the camera already starts recording images in 60 frames per second. It's not saving it directly to the card. It will save the image into a temporary buffer. Now as you fully press the shutter button, you will capture images after that and it will be saved into the cart. You also get to save images before you press the shutter button. These images are already in the temporary buffer. The camera just transfers these images into your cart. You have about half a second buffer. You have these images before you press the shutter button. This will ensure that you don't miss any critical moment. This will boost your confidence in nailing the shot. I don't see any other camera companies implementing this. I think this is quite a genius feature and will make a big difference if you shoot a lot of action, sports, or you just want to nail that critical moment. Feature number three, live composite. Now right from the start, I must admit that Panasonic also has live composite in the newer selected few cameras. However, I still believe that live composite is a truly Olympus specific feature because Olympus has live composite in every single one of the cameras since the release of EM10 in 2014. If you have used live composite before, you will understand how powerful this tool is, especially if you do a lot of long exposure 
photography, if you shoot lightning, fireworks, or if you do light painting. Live composite basically is a composite of images using for long exposure. The camera will take multiple images and it's being merged live. In front of you, you get to see the preview happening and it is an additive blending. The exposure is being locked on the first frame. So whatever parts of the image, whatever parts in the image that is brighter in subsequent frames will be added in the composite. This will allow long exposure images, say if you take an image for 45 minutes or one hour or even more, say you shoot a star trail, the image will not be overexposed, but you still get the benefit of capturing the full trail happening throughout the entire duration of capture. I personally think that live composite is truly something special and if you haven't experienced this, you are really missing out. Feature number four, five axis image stabilization. Well, this may sound very obvious, but some people question, hey, do we even need image stabilization? It doesn't add any resolution, high ISO performance, or it doesn't improve dynamic range. Some people even say, hey, you know what? Image stabilization is not unique to Olympus. Everyone else have image stabilization. And you know, some people have really effective five stops, six stops, eight stops image stabilization. What makes Olympus image stabilization so special? This is not unique anymore. Now, wait a minute. If you have truly said those things, or if you agree to that, it shows that you have not experienced the true five axis image stabilization from Olympus. If you have used any of the Olympus top tier cameras from EM1, EM1 Mark II, or even the latest EM1 Mark III, EM1X, if you have used any of these cameras before, you will understand that there's nothing like the Olympus 5 axis image stabilization. Not only it allows you to shoot ridiculously slow shutter speeds, dangerously slow, I'm talking about four or five seconds handheld, having a truly reliable, truly powerful image stabilization will guarantee that each pixel are fully maximized in their potential and you get the best of the best in what you can get in your camera. Now, I, I don't blame you if you haven't used an Olympus camera before. I, I know a lot of people, they use all other systems. I encourage you to try any other cameras. But if you haven't tried the 5 axis image stabilization from Olympus, don't say anything until you try it. And finally, number five, the FLM3 flash. Most other camera manufacturers will include an add-on flash just for the sake of including an add-on flash. They don't put a lot of thought in it, but Olympus puts a lot of attention and care in designing the FLM3 flash. First of all, it is weather sealed. Secondly, it has bounce flash capability. This tiny little thing is capable of bounce flash because you can tilt and swivel the head. You don't see this happening in any other camera companies. They will force you to buy the external flash to have bounce flash capability. Olympus could have done the same, but hey, they made this available in this tiny flash for most people who don't do flash photography. I gotta admit, most people now just do available light photography. Not many people are doing a lot of flash photography. It doesn't make sense to invest in flash if you don't use it a lot. And in some very tiny situations, very, very rare occasions where you do need to use bounce flash, this tiny FLM3 does its job. It is powerful enough. It draws battery from the camera. It doesn't need an external power. I think it is just simply wonderful. It shows how much Olympus thinks about what a photographer needs and how much they try to make a photographer's life easier. That's all I have to share about the five truly unique features on Olympus OMD cameras. Do you agree with my list? Or do you think there are other features that should make the list? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Or have you used any of these particular features extensively in your own photography? I would love to hear from you as well. If you have found my sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal account. I'll put the links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution can go a long way and help me to continue making videos like this and publish them 
right here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs and always stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.